It's time for occupation. That's the title of the College of Occupational Therapists' 40th annual conference. I'm Tony Prado, and to tell me what's happening, I'm joined by Sarah Bedell, who's chair of the college's conference committee, and two fellow committee members, Alicia Ridout and Dee Christie. If I could come to you first, Sarah, how important is the conference to the profession? Well, the conference is fundamentally important to the profession. It's the 40th anniversary of the conference, and it is a real opportunity to get up close and personal with our professional body, with the researchers and practitioners and people who are influencing the direction of our profession, and to make those connections, to network, and to be able to understand what all this means in relation to our own work, take that forward and advance our profession. It's about making connections in terms of the work and also with people. It's definitely about making connections. It's all about connections. And this is a great opportunity to do that. Alicia, one of your audiences for the conference is students. What could they get out of it? Well, I think the the opportunities for students are enormous. I know from my own personal experience, my first ever conference was as a third year OT student and we had a ball and it completely changed my view of what I was coming into when I qualified. And we've really made special efforts to make sure that students feel really welcome. CPC committee members welcome everybody personally to the conference and we were taking photos for the Twitter wall last year. So if you're a to join in and I think the most important thing is that this is going to ground people when they've done their theory into the realities of actually doing this as a job but you've got the support of hundreds and hundreds of OTs who are experienced or new or working in innovative areas this is a real opportunity to look over the rim of your teacup. See the landscape for occupational therapy of course is constantly changing How important is the conference in in updating oneself of actually finding out things that are happening? There's no doubt that there's enormous challenges in the workplace. It doesn't matter which sector of occupational therapy you work in, private, public, etc. The challenges are enormous. And sometimes you just need to step back from that, think about what you're doing, and as Alicia said, make some connections with evidence, with how to do things. So the conference gives you that opportunity. There it is, all in one place, with well-known speakers, practitioners who are experiencing exactly what you're experiencing in your workplace, and you come together and connect those things. One of the biggest difficulties is keeping up to date because the pressure in the workplace is enormous. So taking a break of a few days coming away to conference, meeting all these exciting people, networking, it's a great opportunity. And it doesn't matter whether you're newly qualified or perhaps somebody like me who goes to conference even though I'm now 40 years qualified. It sounds like it can be an energising experience as well as something to update yourself. It can be. I think you have to come on the basis of it's going to be fun as well as a learning experience. Enjoy it. Go and talk to new people. As Alicia said, we had great fun greeting people, encouraging them to go to the tweet wall, have their picture taken, chatting to each other in the in queues, etc., about what they were doing. It's not just about going to sessions. Those are important, but the networking outside of that is also important. Sarah, we've touched on a number of reasons why people should come to this conference. For you, what is the standout reason why OT should come? There are a number of standout reasons, I think. The most obvious reason is an opportunity to attend a conference that is completely focused on occupational therapy, that is influenced by our professional body, and that attracts an absolutely amazing quality of speaker. That's a really important reason to come to the conference. But also, I think there is an issue around let's get involved, let, let, let's let create some energy around our profession, let's come together, let's think about how we're going to support our professional body, how, how the professional body can support us and influence. So it's about taking, it's about receiving, it's about absorbing information and learning, but it's also about what can we give and how can we move together forwards as a, a fabulous group of occupational therapists. 
And I think what I would add to that as well is that we need people to get involved in the profession. You know, you can't change anything standing on the sidelines. And here you have a real opportunity to hear researchers, academics from around the world who are telling you about the things that they found out, the research that we've done, the opportunities that there are to get involved regionally, locally, have your say and make the differences for the future. Dee, what, what are you particularly looking forward to in terms of this year's conference? For the most part, meeting members because they, they are the centre of the, the conference and I think CPC make a big opportunity to network with them, to find out from them what they're enjoying, perhaps what they're not enjoying quite so much and what we could improve on. On a personal level, I'm looking at some of the big-name presenters from government, perhaps, or from the profession to see what's new so that I can continue learning. Alicia, what are you particularly looking forward to? The exhibition. We have a fantastic uh, range of exhibitors and we also have an exhibition of all the posters which people have submitted. I've met some really interesting people when I've been looking at the posters, so I'm really looking forward to that. And Sarah? I can't wait for the debate. We reintroduced in the debate this year. We've got some absolutely incredible, high-profile, challenging speakers to contribute to that debate, which is going to be about evidence-based practice and the validity of evidence-based practice, which is relevant to every OT everywhere. So that's on the Wednesday, and that's going to be my conference highlight, I think, so far. Thanks to my guests, Sarah Bedell, Dee Christie and Alicia Ridout. It's time for Occupation, the College of Occupational Therapists' 40th Annual Conference will take place in Harrogate, Yorkshire, from Tuesday the 28th to Thursday the 30th of June. For more information, go to the website, cotannualconference.org.uk.